Welcome to this new DVD series. I am your host, Lindsay Williams. Well, your survival food is all in, and you have plenty of water storage. What good is it going to do you if you are dead? Consider with me, if you will, in the course of the next approximately hour and a half to two hours, healing the elite way. Just recently, only a few days ago, I contacted my elite friend. He is not the least concerned about chemtrails, the new drug-resistant bugs that are out there. Why? They know exactly how to be healed. And there's no reason why you should suffer either. You see, they breathe the same air you breathe. They drink the same water you drink. They drive on the same highways that you drive on, but they know something that you don't know. They know where healing is. Therefore, all of these things are not concerning them in the least. Well, fortunately, they have told me how they do these things because, you see, recently I became deathly ill. Yes, I had an incurable disease. My late friend had told me where to go. I went there, spent three weeks. I came back today. I am as well as any 77-year-old man on the face of this earth could possibly be. You see, the elite know what to do. They have told me where to go and what to do, and in the course of this DVD series, I'm going to reveal some things I have never revealed before to any audience, how you can stay well, how you can be healed, how you do not need to suffer from any of these things that are frightening so many people today, and you can do it exactly like the elite do. They have told me their secrets. And in the next few minutes, I would like to tell you these things. How do I know these things? Well, let me go back briefly just a ways. You see, I was a pastor of a church for 12 years, and I was invited by the providence of God to be the chaplain to the elite of the world. And for three years' time, I lived with the people that you only hear about. I sat across the dinner table. I had the privilege of being invited to sit in their board meetings in an advisory capacity in order to help the relationship of management and labor. And because of those things, I was not, I was on their oil field. They were not in my church. And I learned some things that I would have never learned had I not been there with them personally in the capacity that I was. This was the providence of God. And I, I say that because I have to give him all the glory. This DVD could have never been produced. You could not possibly have been protected. There is no way that your family can survive the onslaughts of all the things that are being headed your way by the elite for the purpose of euthanasia. Yes, it is for real. But they aren't concerned. Not one bit. Think about something with me a moment. Not one president of the United States of America has ever died of cancer. Why not? What do they know that you don't know? Uh, just the other day, I was on the phone with a gentleman by the name of Kevin Gallagher. He's a radio talk show host in Connecticut. His home is only a short distance from the home of Mr. Henry Kissinger. In fact, he knows exactly where he lives, and oftentimes they will go and have a protest. They'll have some people to stand out front and hold their signs, and it was quite interesting what he had to say. They went to protest at the home of Mr. Henry Kissinger. Of course, you don't know who he is. Uh, you recognize him as probably one of the elite of the elite, and they were protesting out, outside of his house, they didn't have the slightest idea whether he was home or whether he wasn't at home, but all of a sudden, an automobile drove up in the driveway, and who do you think it was? <laughs> you are exactly right. It was Mr. Henry Kissinger himself, 90 years of age, and what do you think he did? You think he got out and got in his wheelchair? <laughs> Not on your life. 
Henry Kissinger realized that they were protesters outside of his house, and he didn't like the idea at all. He literally got out of his automobile, and he ran at 90 years of age across the front yard and up the front steps, went in his house, and slammed the door. Now, what does Mr. Henry Kissinger know that you don't know? Well, that's what I will tell you in the course of this DVD series from things you've never heard before and things that positively you are going to be so glad you have in coming days you cannot possibly imagine. Daddy Bush, Mr. New World Order himself, is 88 years of age and he loves skydiving. How do you think he can possibly do it at 88 years of age? You see, there are billions of dollars every year made off of sickness and pain and doctors and medicine, certain things they don't want healed. And they don't want you to know how they can be healed. But it is possible. But not only you, let's consider something else. Just a few days ago, my wife, and my son, and I went to a, a, a animal wildlife park called Out of Africa. And we, we saw there a tiger. Oh, what a beautiful animal it was. And that tiger contracted cancer. And what do you think they did about it? Did, did they give him chemotherapy or radiation? Uh, did they operate on him? Not on your life. Now, that is an expensive animal. So what did they do? They did what the elite did. That's right. You're going to hear some things today that are so amazing about your dog, your cat, a tiger at out of Africa Wildlife Park. Hey, buddy. Okay, okay Daniel. Okay. Here it goes. <laughs> His name is Pilgrim. That? I did. did. Get that? I did get that. Do it again. How all of these things can be taken care of and you can sleep well at night not worrying one minute about all of these disastrous uh, bugs. You see, every single one of them can be taken care of. Well, hi, my name is Robert Rowan, and I've been asked to conduct uh, question and answers on um, a very interesting product called Carnivora. I wrote about this in the year 2004, but that's not when I first got interested in it. Actually, I got interested in it when I heard about it living in Alaska in the 1990s, and I had read about the work of Dr. Helmut Keller, who was using uh, a novel cure for immune problems. Dr. Keller had uh, done a lot of studies with this product and had a lot of patients, and a lot of patients got better, ranging from immune dysfunction to allergies and infection. And I started using it while I was in Alaska and was very pleased. In my 2004 article in Second Opinion, uh, I summarized the work of uh, Dr. Keller and what he found in carnivora and why it might be able to do so many wonderful things. In my own mind, I tried to put together how uh, a plant could do so many different things for so many different conditions. But the bottom line is to try to get the body to do what nature designed the body to do, which is heal itself. We have all kinds of healing mechanisms within the body. We just have to trigger them. Our immune system goes even further. It takes the process of oxidation and it generates compounds that kill foreign invaders. 
So oxidation is an integral part in how the body heals itself, how the body manifests resistance to invaders. Well, Koch discovered these catalysts a long time ago, and it turns out that what he discovered actually exists de novo in its native form in carnivora extract. There are compounds in it called drosserone, plumbogen, hydroplumbogen, but these are very powerful oxidation catalysts well, now we have a plant that actually has these compounds in it, so it's considered an herb, which is totally legal to use, and it's effective orally, which is even better. These catalysts that um, Keller discovered modulate the immune system, and they literally do miracles for a wide variety of conditions, from infection to autoimmune disease, to circulation and beyond that. And a lot of doctors would say, how can a single therapy do so many different things for so many different conditions? And they're gonna come right out and say, this is quackery or nuts. It stimulates the immune system to create beneficial cytokines and interferons. So if the immune system gets out of balance like this, and you give oxidation therapy, it's gonna bring it back like this. If it goes like this, it's gonna bring it back like this. Oxidation therapy stimulates the body to raise it back up to its, the, the level of functioning that God designed for us. If we can get cytokines and interferons to come online, the immune system talks to itself talks to cells, one cell talks to another cell, and you can get it turned on. Well, carnivora has these compounds in it that evidently do this and probably can spare people a tremendous cost, which I will tell you, to me, is the cat's meow. It is the ultimate treatment for many of these things, but it turns out that carnivora may work just as well for a large number of people, which would make it far less expensive and easier to do because you can do it right in your home. Let me give you an example um, in layman's language of um, how the immune system works. It's considered that there's two key pathways to the immune system. It's, one is called Th1 and the other is Th2. And most people have heard about the Th1 as the T helper cell. The Th1 system is cellular immunity. It is the key immune system of the body. It's the, it's the cells which will defend us from parasites from sophisticated microorganisms. If you don't have uh, T helper cells, then you get some of the horrible infections that you see in AIDS. If this cellular, and you don't have to have AIDS to have problems, just a weak cell, cellular immune system sets you up for problems. Well, it turns out that the Th1, the cellular immune system, is in balance with the, what's called the humoral immune system. Now the difference between the two is, in the cellular immune system, your cells actually go out and grab the invader and destroy it, the cell itself. It might be natural killer cells, other white blood cells. There is no reason to suffer from any of these diseases, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, chronic fatigue syndrome, multiple sclerosis, hepatitis C, hormone imbalance, vascular disease, immunological imbalance, I have been told where to go to take care of all of these things. In this DVD, I will tell you what the elite do and where you can go and how you can find help and healing. Now, before I go further, I'm quite sure at this point already your mind is a step ahead of me in that you're saying, I know exactly why Lindsay Williams is doing all of this. He gets paid 
by all of these people that he's talking about and the places he's talking about. I want to assure you right now, up front, I am not paid one penny for anything I'm saying today. I do not in any way receive any funding from the products I'm going to talk about. What you're going to hear are places I have been. You're also going to talk, hear me talk about products that I personally use because I've been advised by the elite, by the elite that there are things that I should use. So I personally endorse every item that is here today because I have either tried it or I have been there to see the hospital and to observe what is going on. President Ronald Reagan, when he was president of the United States of America, he was diagnosed as having colon cancer. Ronald Reagan refused to allow them to operate, give him chemotherapy. He would not go the conventional route. Instead, there was a product in Europe that had been in use for some period of time. Ronald Reagan imported that product into the United States of America. And oh, by the way, it was illegal to bring that substance into the United States of America at that time. Ronald Reagan, being the president of the United States of America, brought this substance into the United States of America. He used it, never had any reoccurrence of his colon cancer. Now, hopefully, this will tell you something about what you're going to hear about. You remember the tiger? You saw the picture off a few moments ago. That tiger, yes, out in the open, all of the chemtrails, all the chemicals, everything that you breathe and suffer, that tiger had gotten and contracted cancer. What did they use? Chemotherapy, radiation, operation, not on your life. The people at the wildlife park knew to use what the elite used. They've been told about it, and they did. They gave him something very unusual. Your dog, your cat, your, your horse. Yeah, that's right. Farmers, your cow, maybe your pig, whatever it may be. You see, there is something beside conventional medicine. The elite know what it is, and that's the reason they're not the least concerned about many of the things that bother you so much that you lose sleep over at night. Well, please consider, if you will, with me, the alternative first before you go the conventional method. Would you please do what the elite do? After all, they know where to go. They've told me, so I will try, if I possibly can, to tell you. Allow me to introduce to you what President Ronald Reagan used, what was used on that taiga and out of Africa, and it's really just a plant. <laughs> After all, remember, God put on the face of this earth everything that we needed for the healing of the body, if only we would use what he gave us. Well, it's called Venus flytrap. That's right, it's a plant. And it has a substance in it that attracts flies. And when the fly lands inside, it closes and traps the fly there and then digests the fly. Well, someone got the idea over in Europe that if it could digest a fly, then why can't it digest the protein that's around the outside of a cancer cell and allow the body to bring about a healing process? And so as a result, they, de they developed something just a few years ago, never been tried before. President Ronald Reagan brought it in, and now today you can buy it, you can obtain it right here in the United States of America. No, I do not sell it, but I'll tell you where to get it in just a few moments. I would like you to consider with me a very unique plant that God has placed on the face of this earth that is literally working miracles with many many diseases of all kinds in healing. And it's nothing more than the Venus flytrap, and it's called carnivora. The humoral immune system is where you have antibody-producing cells making antibodies 
against the organisms. And the antibodies will then come and attach to the organism, making an immune complex. And then the rest of your immune system has to come in and clean up the debris. That's called the humoral immune system. Turns out that if your cellular immune system is on overdrive, for instance, like an autoimmune disease, your cellular immune system is going to be up here on overdrive, your humoral immune system is going to be suppressed. And with an overactive cellular immune system, the body is trying to get invaders and inadvertently gets itself. That's called an autoimmune disease. I don't believe that there is such a thing as an autoimmune disease. I think the body's trying to get something. And it gets you inadvertently because it's way overactive. And it's sort of like collateral damage in a war. You're going after the, the bad guys and you blow up, try to blow up the bad guys and you get some of the good guys and the civilian structure at the same time. That's what happens in these autoimmune diseases. Well, when we're dealing with AIDS, we now have a suppressed cellular immune system here. And the humoral antibody immune system is way up like this. And what we have is a Th2 humoral immune system pathway that's overactive. And then you become a big bag of antibodies with a dysfunctional cellular immune system. And that doesn't work either. If you're a big bag of antibodies, you may have allergies and you are impaired in fighting your way out of sophisticated bacterial or microorganism infections. The idea is to be in balance. And we're not necessarily talking AIDS here. We're talking common, everyday living. And with the type of medicine that's practiced and with the chemicals that are in the environment, the toxins, the poisons, and the malnutrition, we have an environment now largely where people are like this, with an overactive Th2 humoral pathway and an underactive cellular pathway. So their immune systems are weakened against sophisticated infections. And what we need to do is bring them back into balance like this. We need to lower the activity of these, of these overactive antibodies, which are out there not doing very much. And we need to raise the cellular immune system, which is the key, the gem of, the immune, of, of our immunity. Oxidation therapy does this. This is what out that Keller found many years ago that carnivore does the same thing through these compounds in it, like plumagen, which is an oxidation catalyst. So now we have an opportunity to modulate the immune system. The word is modulate. Bring your immune system back into balance so that it can get turned on, the key pathway, the cellular immune system, get turned on and fight the infection and the problems you're dealing with. Now you just asked me about immune modulation. Modulation means getting the body back into what it's called its homeostatic balance. There is such a thing called homeostasis. Homeostasis is the natural balance that the living organism seeks. That's called homeostasis. The immune system is a homeostatic mechanism as well. And we're finding out now that the immune system gets thrown out of whack with chemicals, with improper diet, with malnutrition, the majority of Americans are deficient in minerals and probably a lot of vitamins as well. There's such a thing called epigenetics. Epigenetics is the science where it's not your DNA, it's what nature has done to your DNA or what you have done to your DNA or your ancestors have done to your DNA through an improper lifestyle. And genes get turned on and they get turned off. So in other words, you may have great genes but the good genes could be turned off and the dysfunctional genes are turned on. There's no dysfunctional genes. The genes are there for a reason, but they need to be turned off and on at the right time. This process is called homeostasis, bringing the body back into balance. The immune system has homeostatic mechanisms so that it gets turned on at the right time 
and it gets turned off at the right time. And various aspects of the immune system get turned on at the right time and get turned off at the right time. So when the invader comes, certain aspects of the immune system get turned on to go and attack the invader and then that gets turned off, hopefully. And then the debris cleanup team comes in to clean up the debris. Well, if the first team doesn't get turned off, then you have an overactive immune system that's constantly creating inflammation, which is good initially, but if the inflammation isn't cleared up, now you're left with chronic inflammation, possibly autoimmune disease and degenerative disease from ongoing inflammation, which needs to be stopped so that then the immune system can come in and go through the repair process. When we talk about modulation, we're talking about getting into the body, what God designed our bodies to need to bring the body, and in this case, the immune system, back into balance. It turns out that carnivora has a lot of these compounds in it that can bring our immune system back into balance, also known as modulation. Dr. Keller found, which has uh, been corroborated by uh, even more recent work is that there's an ideal ratio of T helper cells to T suppressor cells. And we know that with AIDS. When they get out of balance, what happens is with AIDS, the T helper cells fall and you have an abnormal ratio. It should be more T helper cells to suppressor cells. Or with immune problems, the T helper cells can fall and then in the case of AIDS, when the suppressor cells fall additionally, now you have basically no immune system. We're talking about modulation here. And we're trying to get better functioning T helper cells, which are the heart and soul of the immune system. In chronic disease, in immune dysfunction, in immune what we would call insufficiency, not enough immunity, the T helper cells are suppressed, their function is suppressed. And the goal is to increase their function. T helper cell suppression can lead to a variety of chronic illness, Lyme disease, um, chronic infection, parasites, even cancer. Our goal is to have as well a functioning helper immune system, helper cells, which is the Th1 or the cellular immune pathway. Uh, different terms for the same thing. Um, the idea is to get this pathway modulated to its optimal performance. Absolutely phenomenal at what it does for most people with immune problems. With oxidation therapy, for example, we see an increase in T helper cells. In the case of carnivora, we see the same thing. And that's probably due to its plumbogen and plumb plumbogen analog content. The T helper cells come up. And when they come up like this, the suppressor cells come back into balance and we're bringing the immune system back in the balance with more T helper cells and T helper cells that are more functional. These effects result in powerful immune defense. And powerful immune defense, in my book, runs the gamut of helping yourself deal with infection versus helping you yourself out with allergy. Two different situations. As I said, allergy, is too many antibodies running around. Well, I just got off the phone with one of my patients who I told to take carnivora a few years ago for chronic allergies, meaning watery eyes, sore throat, nasal discharge. And she used carnivora as a standalone product and she told me that it essentially cured her. Now, what does cure mean? I don't know. <laughs> but if the symptoms go away totally, I'd say remission, long-term remission. I'm happy with that. I have had patients who have taken carnivora and they are able to put their symptoms into remission taking it. In some cases I think it's been a permanent remission, in other cases it might not be, but even if it's not a permanent remission, it sure beats shooting a blank, even if you have to take some carnivora indefinitely.
and it's short cheaper than oxidation therapy. Most of the physicians in the integrative or, or alternative medicine world believe that we have an epidemic of what we call stealth infection. These are organisms that are taking advantage of a weakened immune system. You may have heard of EBV, Epstein-Barr virus, CMV. There's an epidemic of that, cytomegalovirus, toxoplasmosis, and other organisms. Stealth infections, and the idea of the stealth infection is to infect somebody but not kill them. Because if you kill them, then the organism can't spread. A stealth infection wants to get in you, multiply and move to the next person. So you'll get weakened and you'll be, your immune system might be humbled and your ability to work and function could be damaged, but you'll still be somewhat functional. That's in the interest of the organism. The idea behind immune modulation, whether it's oxidation therapy or carnivora, is to get your immune system back online to hunt for, seek, see, seek, and destroy these stealth pathogens. I believe carnivora is one of those natural, easy to get substances that can do this. And people are walking around feeling weak, fatigued, it's chronic fatigue. There's a good one. Everyone has heard the term chronic fatigue syndrome. Well, in our book, it is at least in part due to some stealth infection, which has crippled your immune system, or is there because you have a crippled immune system, and is taking you down so that you're operating on two cylinders instead of four. The idea is to get your immune system to come back online, turn on, and go after these organisms. So the concept of the stealth infection, I hope, will be understood by the viewer or the listener of this as an opportunistic organism that got into a weak body and has set up shop because your body is too weak to get rid of it. Nature provided us things that help our body. They're found in nature. This is how God designed the planet. And from my experience, and research, carnivore is just one of those things that can help do that. You asked about synergy. One of the things I like about herbal medicine is you're getting a whole nature made product. And you'll get all of these phytochemicals, phytonutrients, phyto, P-H-Y-T-O meaning plant chemicals, found in nature as God designed us to have, which is the perfect balance. One of the things I like about carnivora is, since it's made by nature, it has in balance many things that are, will help your immune system, not just one. For example, I mentioned plumagen. Well, it's got arginine in it. It's got amino, other amino acids in it. It's got minerals in it. It's got enzymes in it. These things are a balance, which herbalists for centuries, millennia, have said is the best means of treating a sick body, is with the whole plant. And it's absolutely phenomenal at what it does for most people with immune problems. You ask why I like the carnivora product in particular as a Venus flytrap extract. It's basically because it is pure, undiluted extract of Venus flytrap. It's not cut with anything. By the term cut, it means diluted excipients, fillers. I'm interested in a pure, unadulterated product, and that's why I like carnivore. At 74 years of age, I went to the doctor to get my pilot's physical. Yes, I was a commercial pilot for over 30 years, and I thought everything would go along fine. Uh, no, I don't fly today. I wish I could, but I still keep my physical up and like to have my license current. So uh, the doctor said, Chaplain, you've got a problem. I think you need to go to the eye doctor. Well, I guess most people at 74 years of age would probably need to see an eye doctor or whatever you call them. And, and I said, uh, okay. He said, I, I said, well, wh what's wrong? He said, well, Chaplain, uh, he'll tell you, but he said, I think you've got glaucoma. Well, many of you will recognize glaucoma as something that can be dangerous under certain circumstances. So sure enough, 
I went to see the optometrist and I said, would you please examine my eyes? By the way, I'm today 77 years of age. I do not need glasses for either reading or driving, even for the small print in the phone book. I usually can read it without any problem. So I guess it's worked. So anyway, uh, the doctor said, yes, you do have glaucoma in both eyes. And he said, you'll have to use beta blockers. Well, I said, uh, tell me a little bit about beta blockers. He said, well, there are certain dangers to them. And he said, uh, you might want to look it up first. But he said, uh, here's the problem. Well, I did. I went back, got on the internet, contacted some people in the medical profession. And I said, tell me about glaucoma and beta blockers. <laughs> what I found out was not pretty. The side effects were so great that even though the beta blocker might have kept me from having an increase of eye pressure from glaucoma, what it would have done to my heart and my liver, uh, how do you want to die? You want to die from a heart attack? You want to die from liver problems? Or do you want to take a chance on glaucoma? Well, immediately I began searching the health field to see if there wasn't an alternative. After all, remember, God put on the face of this earth all the herbs and everything we need. So I did. Well, I found one. It's a very simple thing, really. It's called Eyebright. Yes, E-Y-E-B-R-I-G-H-T. Somebody must have known years ago that it was good for the eyes. And someone said, if you will take Eyebright, the non-alcoholic kind, and put in so many drops into distilled water or purified water, they said, maybe it'll work. Well, anything is better than beta blockers, so I did. Uh, by the way, a lot of this information comes from people that you've heard me talk about before, so I won't give the credit always. I'll just leave it up to you to know where much of this information came from. And so I did. I did exactly what they had said, and instead of telling the doctor that I wasn't using beta blockers, I took one eye and put the eye, dry, eye bright drops in it, and I put the beta blocker in the other eye. I thought, well, maybe if I lose one eye, <laughs> it's worse than losing my life. I'll take my chances. He said, now you come back after so many months, and I want to check your eye pressure again. I remember when I went back in his office that day, I didn't tell him a thing. I just greeted him with a smile on my face, sat down in his chair, and he examined my eyes and he said, well, chaplain, I give you a clean bill of health. You won't have to come back for at least another year. And I said, well, doctor, let me ask you a question now. I said, are both eyes in good condition? Oh, yes. They both are doing great. No problems whatsoever. The eye pressure is gone down. Everything's doing fine. I never told him what I used because I knew he'd laugh at me. Why? Well, here it is a number of years later. I'm still using Eyebright. Eye pressure is still down. You see, there are things that you can use that the powers that be know about. And if you will use them, it can save you great heartache. Again, keep in mind, billions of dollars are made every year off of patent medicines, drugs, prescriptions, doctors. I actually had a doctor a while back to tell me, he said, now, chaplain, you're going to have to make up a decision, make your mind up as to where the, I, I'm going to do what I've suggested you should have done, because he said, keep in mind, this is my business. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? that a doctor would be <laughs> upfront enough to say, now, you make up your mind as to whether I perform this or not, because after all, I really can't be too opinionated. He said, this is my business. Well, keep in mind, there are many things that you can do. I have many more to present to you. I live in the Sun Belt, and it is quite common to have skin cancer here. Golfers, 
uh, sports fans, uh, people who enjoy the out of doors a lot, athletes, and I have myself had a number of incidences of a cancerous spot on my face, my hand. I guess it'd be normal at 77 years of age to have that. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a product that was actually developed by the elite. I cannot tell you which one did it. I know who they are. It was a chemist, and he developed a product for them. It's a simple little item. In fact, just a very small bottle here. It's called PDQ. Yes, I don't even know what it stands for. But I do know this. It works. I have a spot here. Oh, yes. And, of course, I know what the doctor would have wanted to do because he told me. He said, uh, I'd like to charge you $250 and you will do a biopsy and we can take it off. I had another one over here. I uh, had a number of spots like that around. I had one on my back one day. All I did was use PDQ. That's right. A substance developed by the elite for themselves and they know exactly what it is. It is available to you. I don't sell it but I'll be more than happy to tell you where to get it, and then you decide whether it works or not. Just a simple, natural uh, item that uh, you can use at home. And, by the way, uh, you'll see when you go there. P-D-Q. My elite friends are now in their 70s and 80s. They, of course, were, back 35 years ago, the ones who made all the decisions behind closed doors, and today they still know exactly what's going on behind closed doors, and that's the reason that I have the opportunity to present to you many DVDs from time to time that can help spare your dinner table. This time I felt that I needed to do deal with a subject that so many don't even have the slightest idea what to do about and definitely don't know where to go, but they do, and exactly what to do. Well, this was the story of my elite friend. It was a number of years ago that he told me what had happened to him. He had worked for the oil companies for many, many years. He had been brought up in the business, and so many of the oil company executives of today have been exposed to every type of toxic chemical imaginable because that's where most of them come from, is crude oil. And working in the oil patch, this was their business. So they've come in contact with them, and because of it, many, many of the oil company executives do develop cancer. Well, my very close elite friend did. He developed cancer and naturally diagnosis was no problem, money was not an issue, and in Washington State he was diagnosed as having lung and liver cancer. He wasn't satisfied with what they told him to do. After all, they said, you're too far gone, uh, you waited too late to come to us, there's nothing we can do for you, go home write your will, and be prepared to die. He knew better, because he knew where they went, and he did. He caught the first airplane he could to Greece. That was the time that a doctor in Greece was alive who was named Alavizartos. And Dr. Alavizartos was a medical doctor in Greece. His father was also a medical doctor. And he had developed something very, very unusual that he says takes care of cancer. Well, my elite friend knew about all these things, as the elite do. Ronald Reagan knew about uh, carnivora. <laughs> Out of Africa, knew about carnivora. Uh, my friend told me about PDQ. Uh, I found out myself about Eyebright. You see, there's so many things out there, if you just know what they are. Well, my friend did. He went to Greece. He met Dr. Alavizartos, who at that time was quite popular there. And, uh, and he, he t stayed there 21 days, uh, took the treatment, 
came back to the United States of America. Now, mind you, he had been told to go home and die. Write your will. There's nothing we can do for you. He was too far gone for even chemical medicine. Well, after the treatment, he came back to the United States of America and went back to the same doctors that had performed his diagnosis and again was examined. They said, we can't believe this. It, it just doesn't work this way. It's only been a matter of weeks and you have no cancer. That, that's correct. Now, that was over 20 years ago. He has had no reoccurrence. Uh, he's in his 70s, by the way, and still flies his own airplane and is probably in as good a health as any person on the face of this earth that could be in his 70s. Uh, not only that, but he told me the story one day, and in the course of the story, he said to me, he said, Chaplain, you've got to go there. <laughs> and I said, called him my name, and I said, what do you mean I've got to go there? He said, Chaplain, you may not have cancer. And he said, you may be in great health, but he said, you've got to go where the Alavizartos treatment is given today and take it just for the sake of seeing what it will do to your immune system. He said, it'll work miracles for you. He said, I haven't had a cold in years, not even a sniffle. And he said, I just don't get disease anymore. Well, I did. Three years ago, I took his word for it, went to Tijuana, Mexico, where, by the way, the Alavizartos treatment is given today. It is the only place on the face of the earth today that you can get the Alavizartos treatment is at International BioCare Hospital and Clinic in Tijuana, Mexico, established approximately 30 years ago by Dr. Rodriguez, who is still the director and the doctor of the hospital. And I went there just for the fun of it. I went through the Alavizartos treatment. The testimonials I heard of people who had come back for a tune-up from time to time amazed me. I'll never forget one day sitting at the table, uh, at the dinner table, and a lady said, Chaplain, 19 years ago, I was diagnosed with incurable cancer. She said, I took the Alavizartos treatment. She said, I come back now probably every two years, maybe every year, year and a half, depending on how I feel. She said, I live a perfectly normal life. She said, I've had no reoccurrence. Everything has been kept in remission. You see, there positively can be a healing of your body if you know where to go and what to do. Well, I did. I tried it. And amazingly, it does exactly what my elite friend had told me it would do. You see, they know things that you don't know. Well, I'd like to introduce you to it. And may I beg of you to try something? Please. Before you go the chemical route, before you go the drug route, before you go the other methods, you see, so many people wait until they already have taken all of the chemicals and all of the drugs and all of the operations and everything else, and then they listen to where the elite go. By that time, their bodies are so depleted until it's a nearly impossible task for the Alavizartos treatment to do its job. But there are many things that can be done. So, I would like to introduce you, if I may, to where you can get the Alavizartos treatment. By the way, I didn't mention this at the first of this DVD, but may I at this point please keep this DVD? After you've watched it a time or two and you've given copies of it to friends, that's right. None of my DVDs are copywritten. You can copy them and give them out as often as you will to help as many people as possible. And after you've done it, please put this in your filing cabinet and store it and keep it because you are going to need it. 
Cancer is on the cre increase. Heart disease is so prevalent in this nation, it is startling. You are going to need this DVD. Your relatives and your friends are going to need this DVD, I promise you. And the more chemtrails that are out there and the more drug-resistant bugs that seem to be mutating in our hospitals to the point that it is it's scary to even think about the possibility of going to a hospital and contracting something while you're in the operating room that you didn't even have when you went there. May I urge you please to keep this DVD. And not only that, but do what the elite do first. Uh, it might spare you a lot of heartache and a lot of pain. May I introduce you to the Alavizartos treatment that is obtained at one place only in Tijuana, Mexico, five miles from the border approximately from San Diego where it can still be had. You may have been told there is little or no help available for your degenerative disease. Or perhaps the treatments being offered to you are simply not acceptable. You may have thought there was no more help. The Alivizatos Greek treatment, empowering the body's immune system, returning choice to the individual. Please come with us as we learn about this world-renowned treatment from researchers, from doctors, and actual Alivizatos patients themselves. We'll learn how it works, we'll learn where it is located, but most of all, we'll discover the hopes and successes of those people who have seen it work in their lives. My name is Jan Isaacson, and I'm from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I began my cancer journey back in 1976 when I was diagnosed during a routine hysterectomy with two tumors on a ovary. The one tumor was uterine cancer, the other one was un unidentifi unidentifiable, and my uh, slides were sent to Boston. They still could not find out which kind it was, so I was given an intensive treatment <clears throat> of cytoxin. They put me in the hospital for five days. Um, after that, it was injections. And I ended up on the oral cytoxin for altogether five years. Uh, last July, I was diagnosed with bladder cancer. Research has shown that the cytoxin that I was on is now causing bladder cancer. That's when I had surgery. Two tumors were found in the bladder and uh, I headed for Mexico to the Alvisado treatment. I had heard about it, I was scared, came down here and was absolutely amazed at the warmth, support, caring that I received in the IB hospital. Our patients keep confirming what healthcare activists have been telling us all along. After 40 years of advanced cancer therapy in the USA, and an expenditure of well over $40 billion on the so-called war on cancer that began in the Nixon years. Uh, the five-year survival rate in cancer in the USA for cancer spread from one site to another has not meaningfully increased in all this time and still hovers around 9 or 10 percent. But these stats from actual Alivizato's cancer case studies show a much more hopeful picture. And the radically different results Alivizato's patients receive are due to a whole new way of approaching degenerative conditions. But we in Mexico, and we meaning many different approaches, have long viewed cancer as a total body disease wherever you might find the primary. And we don't uh, frankly care too much where the primary is. Total body disease. And I'm delighted to hear the, just the last three testimonies on this one particular therapy because we're seeing what many metabolic doctors, and they used to be called quacks, were saying all along. Cancer is not hanging out there by itself. 
It's always connected with something else. Glucose dysfunction, high blood pressure, obesity, prediabetes, hypoglycemia. And when we hear that people take a metabolic program, such as the various elements in the Alavastatus serum, we're seeing a total attack on illness, not an attack on a tumor. When we hear that high blood pressure is responding to this therapy, heart disease is responding to this therapy, immunological diseases of all kinds are responding to this therapy, we know that there's a treatment that is advancing a person into wellness, not illness. And that ultimately is what it's all about, putting someone from an illness stage into a wellness stage so that everything that's wrong with them, you heard uh, Dan talking about hearing better, seeing better, feeling better, being better, not just because a tumor is being affected, but because the entire metabolism is being adjusted so that he is into a, a better state of, of wellness. I'm Sue Gentry, and I'm a cancer patient from Pensacola, Florida. I was recently, five months ago, diagnosed with gastrointestinal neoplasm. I have cancer of the stomach and the esophagus. I have to say that five months ago I was very, very ill and had been diagnosed with several different things before they finally um, came to the conclusion and diagnosed me with cancer. The prognosis was definitely not good. At that time, because I had experienced uh, cancer situations with family, very close family members, and had lost members of my family to cancer, I refused uh, the orthodox treatments of radiation, surgery, and chemotherapy in the United States. It was a very hard decision to make. Uh, my family was very supportive, however. I was very blessed about a month and a half ago to hear about the Alavazatos treatment. At that time, I made a few phone calls. There were people back in the States that were very skeptical, saying, you, oh, you don't want to come to Mexico. You need to stay and do whatever the doctors tell you. Um, I guess I am one of the few people, uh, most of the people that come here, they come here as a last resort, and this is their last hope. This is my first and my last hope. Um, it's the only alternative that I would consider. And I have to, to tell everyone that may be a prospective patient that since I've been here in the, in the last three weeks, the ill effects that you uh, experience with the orthodox treatment of the toxic treatments that they offer in the United States, you do not experience that here. Uh, you don't experience the ill effects. If anything, there are, there are a lot of benefits. My pain has been reduced. My appetite has increased. When I came here, I could eat very little. I had lost 22 pounds in three months. Um, I was eating baby food and surviving on water. And now, thanks to the Alvazatos treatment, I am able to eat again, and I have gained some weight, and I just feel very, very blessed. Um, I believe in quality of life, and th this is an alternative treatment that does offer you quality of life. I work full time, I manage uh, a large company, and I, I really feel strong now, and I feel like I can go back and do, uh, give it 100%. I encourage anyone that, whether they have gone through uh, the treatments offered in the states or whether they have not, if they've been diagnosed in, with cancer, I encourage everyone to at least look at your possibilities, make that phone call, call and inquire about the Alvazatos treatment because it is an alternative that will provide you that quality of life and it will, it will help. The cancer tumor is the symptom often the worst symptom of a total body process. And removing that symptom does not have anything to do with curing the malignant process. It can buy time. Sometimes it will save your life in the short run to do this, but it is not addressing the underlying process. And one of the things the late Dr. Uh, Ali Vesatos did in Greece, among many pioneers out there, was his discovery early in life that he was dealing with a total body process, not a tumor. And he designed a combination of B uh, vitamins C and amino acids, which he found to be conjugating into one compound, 
which should be anti-cancer as well as immune balancing in the body. And that was really the evolution of his particular uh, program. Fortunately, the original Alivizatos Greek therapy, developed by the late Dr. Harrington Alivizatos, is now available in North America. The treatment procedure is housed at the internationally recognized IBC Hospital and Medical Center, located just across the Mexico border from beautiful San Diego, California. IBC has been recognized for its contribution to the fight against degenerative diseases through its undivided focus on the patient. A high degree of cleanliness and professionalism is a standard hospital component, but IBC gives more, providing the most modern testing and diagnostic equipment, the best dietary support, and the finest staff of resident doctors, licensed, trained, and committed to the lifelong pursuit of holistically healing their patients from the degenerative conditions that afflict them. The normal immune system has a surveillance um, equipment, a surveillance system within it. Uh, if the surveillance system fails for any reason, you can develop a disease. Uh, either too much surveillance or very little, you know, you can develop either a cancer process or an autoimmune problem. This treatment, uh, it's been proven throughout many years, since approximately the mid-70s, 1975, um, that um, has been proven very effective uh, to control and in some cases to stop completely the progression of a cancer process of different types. And we have seen that it also, since because it has an effect over the immune system, the surveillance system, um, uh, it also has an effect at controlling uh, chronic diseases like diabetes, arthritis, lupus, uh, cro even chronic infections. The chronic fatigue syndrome has also I responded to this treatment. There is no uh, side effects that you will relate to normal cancer treatments, orthodox cancer treatments. You don't lose your hair. You don't suppress your bone marrow. You don't get weak. Actually, you get strong. You recover your appetite. Um, uh, you, you get a sense of well-being. No side effects whatsoever, which is a far cry from what I would have been drugged through on the other side of the border. <laughs> so I cannot say enough about the Olivet treatment. I just think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I think there should be more people be able to know about this. I feel very blessed and very fortunate that I was among the few that, that knew in the beginning that I never, never had to go the other route. But I've had a great success each each time I come down, twice a year, every six months, I'm checked. They do all of my pathology and I've stayed clean. I'm in good health. I feel well. There's virtually nothing I can't do. And uh, just a great success story for me. I don't have cancer. Um, I, I am uh, cancer free at this point. I had uh, small cell or oat cell carcinoma of the lung. You know, based on what I was told, I guess I should have been, uh, should not have been here as of about uh, 18 to 20 months ago. I, like everybody else probably, uh, had, had a feeling of helplessness and, and hopelessness. And, and that's what strikes me about what we do here. Uh, by coming here, I felt that I took a lot a lot of responsibility back into my own hands okay. and, and alleviated the helplessness. And also, uh, in coming here, I, I talked to many people that had lived well beyond their life expectancy, which helped alleviate the hopelessness as well. Well, my experience here has, has been uh, nothing short of wonderful, actually. Um, I feel that uh, there's a lot of camaraderie here. Uh, amongst the patients. Uh, I, I feel that we're all very hopeful people. 
and, and uh, I have, uh, quite frankly, I, I guess my first trip here, I would consider it to be a, a true turning point in, in my healing process. Taking advantage of the Ali Bizatos Greek treatment at the IBC hospital has been made simple through an on-site network of English-speaking coordinators and staff members. And I'd say enough good about this wonderful program. The doctors, the entire staff, have made me uh, feel so differently about this whole thing of cancer. I, uh, I cannot stress enough. I think the most important thing, along with the treatment that I received here, has been the hope. And that's something that you don't get back in the States. It's doom, gloom. Here in Mexico, you receive hope. And the last several years has been great. And uh, I normally only have to come back in November. And the only reason I do come back in November is Wisconsin winters are pretty cold. And since I've been taking this treatment, Hell, I don't get a cold, I don't get the flu, nothing. And I've got nothing but good to say about the Alavisados treatment. And I'll stand on a pinnacle of the highest church, Tsebo, and holler it as loud as I can. I have not been sick. One day I lead as normal a life as I did before I came down with the cancer. Uh, last summer, my oncologist at home said that um, he guaranteed that I would not have had the quality of life that I have had had I gone the traditional route with chemotherapy and I've been more than more than satisfied with my treatment and I just recommend it for everybody I think it's a wonderful thing and also please call the International BioCare Hospital and Health Center in Tijuana Mexico yes it is a toll-free number from the United States of America even though it rings at the hospital in Tijuana. And will you please ask them for their 60-page booklet? Yes, beautiful. Everything you need to know about the hospital, one of the finest, and everything that you'll need to know about the Alavisartos treatment. Please call them, if you will. They will send you that 60-page booklet and a DVD at no charge to you whatsoever. Please call them, if you will, at 800-262-0212. Yes, once again, the number is 1-800-262-0212. And when you call, ask for Teresa. She'll give you some very personal attention and see to it that the brochure is sent to you immediately. Give it to others. You can help save their lives and save them a lot of pain. Dr. Rodrigo Rodriguez is the founder of the International BioCare Hospital and Health Center in Tijuana. Uh, they've operated for 30 years. This is not something just recently. It is world-renowned. And Dr. Rodriguez is sought after as a speaker and a man who is one of the most knowledgeable men that you'll find in the world of alternative medicine and natural healing of every kind. You don't have to suffer. Dr. Rodriguez has pioneered something very unique within the past few years. And stem cell treatment is nothing new to you, I'm quite sure, but the method that Dr. Rodriguez has pioneered for stem cell treatment is one of the most unique that I have ever heard of. In fact, I went there and tried it because I wanted to see what it would do for me, and it is amazing. They actually take your own blood. That's correct. They do not use animal blood. They don't use the blood from a fetus. They don't take the stem cells from uh, a sheep. They take your own blood. I thought they were going to draw all of it. I was amazed. And they took my own blood, took it into a sterile environment, went through the process, which took almost three hours. 
separated the white and the red blood cells from each other the best that they could explain it to me because I'm not a doctor. And then they came back after enhancing the stem cells and put those stem cells, my own stem cells, nearly three hours later, put them back in my body in a stem cell implant. Now, my wife has had rheumatoid arthritis for a number of years. Recently, when the doctor looked at my wife's knee and her arm, he said, I think we can do wonders for her using stem cells. Uh, I don't know what the outcome of this is going to be. I will tell you on a later DVD. For right now, they feel that they can work wonders for her rheumatoid arthritis by using stem cell, stem cell implant into a joint, into a knee, into her whole body. Stem cells implants using your own, that way you don't, you're not concerned about contracting anything from the source that the stem cells came from because it came from your own body. And it is amazing what they're being able to do. My elite friend, please keep in mind, my elite friend told me to go here. He knows and they know, and they know how to stay well. There are so many things that can be done that the average person doesn't know about. The only place on the face of the earth that some of these things can be done are here. In fact, I'll never forget one treatment that was made there at the International BioCare Hospital and Health Center. I, the first day I was there, they took uh, vials and vials and vials of blood. And they did blood tests. I've never seen so many blood tests in my life. Uh, they came back with, I'll never forget, Dr. Vasquez, who was the physician assigned to my particular case. Dr. Rodriguez is the founder and the president of all of this, but he assigned Dr. Vasquez to my case. And he called me into his office a few days later and he said, Chaplain, I'd like to show you the results of our blood test. And he had five pages <laughs> of information that they had made blood tests on. And he said, now some of these blood tests can only be made outside of the United States of America. This can't even, they, they won't even allow it to be done in America. And he, he went through all five pages of this. It must have been 15 or 20 different items on each page. He went over every single one of them. You know, this is what I love also about the IBC hospital outside the United States of America is the fact that it's manana down there. They're not always in a hurry. They don't run you in the office and let a secretary or nurse see you and run you out the other side and stay stumped at the front desk, stop by and give them $200. That's not the way it works down there. Do Dr. Vasquez sat down with me, took the time to go over every single one of these things, answer my questions, sit there with me and show me what was going on. And he came to one test that fascinated me. He said, now, chaplain, you do not have any cancer in your body. Now, he said, you may have a few cancer cells running around. He said, everybody does. But he said, you do not have cancer anywhere in your body. And I said, now, wait a minute. Uh, I said, please, Dr. Vasquez, I, I, I don't quite understand this. You mean to tell me that this test, and he showed it, explained each one of the lines, and he said, I said, are you telling me that you can tell me that from the top of my head to the bottom of my toe, I do not have a malignancy that is dangerous. He said, Chaplain, that's correct. And he said, not only that, if you did, I could tell you where it is. I said, really? He said, yes. I said, you mean this test is not allowed to be made in the United States of America? He said, Chaplain, to my knowledge, this test is not made anywhere except right here at the IBC hospital. He said it was developed by Dr. Yes, you guessed it, Alavi Zartos many years ago. And he said, we can tell you, oh, what an amazing, the, the elite know where to go. Folks, you do not have to fear the diseases of today that are plaguing our modern day world. And why do you think that it is that when I sent that email to my elite friend, they are not the least concerned about some of the things that are worrying you to death. Well, 
and a lot more to go. So I'd like you to see the International BioCare Hospital for yourself in Tijuana. There must be one other thing here, though, before, before I go into this. You know, I'm so excited because of what I see there. You're talking about a dining room with organic food and everything that's right for you when you're sick. You will love going there just, just for the food. Uh, not only that, but... I was asking the people about the operating room because when I took a stem cell implant, they actually had to take me into the outer section of the operating room. And then in the operating room, where it's a sterile environment, they did all of the stem cell work. And I asked the person, the doctor in charge of all of that, I said, now there are a lot of problems in operating rooms in America. Uh, in fact, you go into an operating room in America and you don't know whether you're going to come out with something that you didn't have when you went in or not because of all the new bugs that are resistant to every known killer. And I said, how about your hospital? Have you ever had this? He said, chaplain, after every patient goes in our operating room, he said the entire operating room is washed down. He said, every cot that goes into the operating room, every table, every instrument, he said, everything, everything, even the operating room itself, washed down, clean, sterilized. He said, we have never had a case, never, of any person who contracted something in our operating room that they did not have when they went in. Now, that is quite a record. That's the IBC hospital in Tijuana, Mexico, five miles from the border. I'd like you to see it for yourself. The California-Mexico border, the busiest international crossing point in the world, is the gateway to Latin America. Tijuana, the fourth most important city of Mexico, shares the border with San Diego, California and has become a major international metropolis. It is home to a vast array of tourist-oriented attractions, a world-class racetrack, a fronton where Hialai, the world's fastest sport, is played, and an internationally famed bull ring, traditional arts and crafts, a mainstay of tourism here for a century, with a thriving assembly industry of products for the world market. It is also the home of the world's foremost center for progressive medicine. Welcome to International BioCare Hospital. IBC people, caring, enthusiastic, helpful people. A team of highly trained professionals who thrive on cooperation, continuous improvement, and a commitment to excellence. These people make up a focused staff that is motivated to provide world-class treatments and quick responses to patient needs. IBC Hospital and Medical Center is located in Tijuana, Mexico, only a few miles from the San Diego, California International Airport. It is a major center of integrative medicine, a therapeutic blend of East and West, standard allopathic treatments combined with nutritionally based metabolic holistic modalities. The staff, led by internationally acclaimed Rodrigo Rodriguez, MD, implements promising new therapies and diagnostics gathered from around the world. IBC Hospital continues to offer the medicine of the new millennium here and now. Thousands of patients from many countries have visited IBC Hospital in the last two decades, primarily seeking relief from advanced disease conditions metabolic and genetic challenges considered incurable by standard orthodox medicine. IBC Hospital, with a bilingual staff of 12 on-duty full-time physicians, backed by more than 50 support personnel, ranging from nurses to administrative, kitchen, maintenance, and transportation workers, is setting state-of-the-art standards in developing individualized integrative treatment programs, protocols for everything from cancer, its major concern, to autoimmune disease, allergies and sensitivities, immunological disturbances, and endocrinological imbalances. 
IBC Hospital has comfortable, fully equipped inpatient facilities with bathroom, telephone, direct communication with the nurses station, an ever-growing outpatient division, on-site laboratory and diagnostic office, an acupuncture, therapeutic massage center, and blood laboratory. Our intensive care unit is equipped with the latest in diagnostic equipment. There is also a specially equipped surgical suite for emergency procedures. Our facilities include a complex of connected home-like suites for outpatients who wish to remain close to the treatment center. IBC Hospital and Medical Center maintains its own in-house television channel for patient orientation and movies for patient enjoyment and around-the-clock internet access kiosk. For patient amusement and communication needs, we also have international telephone and fax services. IBC Hospital provides round-trip transportation to and from San Diego and Tijuana International Airports and hotel-motel booking services on both sides of the U.S.-Mexico border. Correct nutrition being one of the pillars of our treatment philosophy, we operate an award-winning kitchen and tastefully appointed dining room. Nutritional management with knowledge and care, loving personnel who work with the best ingredients, inspiration and excellent taste have made our meals therapeutic and also tastefully legendary. IBC Hospital is a major, globally recognized hospital and medical center which for almost a quarter century has accumulated the experience and know-how to operate as one of the world's major integrative health complexes. Here, years of experience have resulted in a multifactorial program ranging from nutritional management to sophisticated state-of-the-art modalities, all operating under the basic premise of restoring wellness conditions in the body so that it may overtake and control malignancies and other degenerative processes. Here, standard high-tech diagnostics and treatments go hand-in-hand -hand with natural therapies, acupuncture, and intra-arterial gene therapy. For example, comfortably coexist as a part of total integrative program. IBC Hospital is the home of several breakthrough therapies developed from around the world and placed within an integrative model to achieve levels of effectiveness even their pioneers never dreamed of. IBC Hospital keeps in close contact with integrative alternative treatment and health promotion centers from throughout the world, including Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, China, Korea, Thailand, Australia, and New Zealand. Among modalities available are homeopathics, herbs, gene therapy, ozone, oxidative therapies, detoxification, whole body hyperthermia, ultraviolet irradiation of the blood, hyperbaric oxygen, and enzyme treatments. IBC Hospital also has novel successful approaches for the elimination or mitigation of fungal and yeast infections, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, and Gulf War syndrome. Over the years, thousands of degenerative disease patients have found the answer to their problems at IBC Hospital and live to talk about the healing experience. Our veteran and highly specialized staff sees to patient needs, ranging from reservation to arrival to departure. Our medical staff is available at all times through toll-free phone lines, fax, and email. A professional bilingual staff is available at all levels, medical, nursing, transportation, kitchen, housekeeping, administrative, to create a caring, nurturing environment for the patient. Our commitment is integrated healing and the promotion of health. IBC Hospital, your best option in integrative therapy. The two greatest herbs for the jump-starting of the immune system, when you feel that you might be coming down with something, is number one, cat's claw. It's just a natural herb. You can get it at the health food store. I would highly recommend that you have some in your medicine cabinet because when things do come down, which they're going to, you've seen them on the DVDs, you're going to need cat's claw, C-A-T apostrophe S-C-L-A-W. It is a herb 
and you can get it in many forms at your local health food store. Another one is Oregon grape. I would highly recommend that you get some. Uh, it likewise will jump start the immune system and oftentimes when you feel you're coming down with something take it immediately and you will find that it'll take care of what you have. Uh, I'm 77. I still don't have to have glasses to read or drive that automobile but I account much of it to something called vision clear. It is possible to improve your vision. You positively can take care of many, many things. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard of macular degeneration. I did not say it would, it would, no, now come on now. Don't you ever dare say that Lindsay Williams said on this DVD that anything was cured. You use that word cured, you're in trouble. I did not use it anywhere in this DVD. I said, would you like to improve your eyesight? Would you like to take care of many things that many of us get as we get to be older? I would highly recommend something called Vision Clear. The number one cause of death in the United States of America is cardiovascular disease, heart attack, stroke. You never need to be concerned again. Believe me. There is a way, and even though I've introduced it in the past in some of my DVDs briefly, I'd like to very briefly give it to you today so that you will know where to go, what you can do about it. On September 11, 2001, America was viciously attacked by evil forces. 2,974 people lost their lives that day. Placing 9-11 on the calendar is another date that will live forever in infamy. Americans were shocked, devastated, and outraged by the deaths of those innocent individuals. Yet on that same day, approximately 2,500 additional Americans died of cardiovascular disease. The next day, another 2,500 people died. And again on Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday, and the entire following week. In fact, a total of 75,000 Americans died during the month of September from cardiovascular disease. More than 25 times as many people died of cardiovascular disease that September than were killed by terrorists. Cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death in America. In 2001, over 900,000 people died from this silent killer. That number is more than all the American soldiers killed in battle during all the American wars combined. An aggregate 44 years of fighting over the course of more than two centuries has resulted in 653,000 406 combat deaths. Think of it, more Americans die in one year from cardiovascular disease than died in actual combat from all the wars we have ever fought. The Nobel Prize in Medicine for 1998 was awarded to three American scientists for their discoveries concerning nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system. So what does that mean? The medical benefits of these discoveries can be summed up in four words. No more cardiovascular disease. And this without drugs or surgery. Dr. John P. Cook, MD, PhD, is head of Stanford Medical School's vascular unit. He wrote a book based on this Nobel Prize winning science called The Cardiovascular Cure. This title alone speaks volumes. Seldom, if ever, do we hear the word cure coming out of the pharmaceutical industry. Treating the symptoms of a disease is far more profitable than finding a cure. On the back cover of this book we read, in 1998, the Nobel Prize was awarded to scientists 
for the discovery of a chemical produced in the lining of the blood vessels that keeps them free of plaque. Do you think the pharmaceutical industry wants you to know that there is a chemical produced in the lining of your blood vessels that keeps them free of plaque? Of course not. Nobel laureate Dr. Louis Ignaro, who also wrote a book based on his discovery. The title says it all, No More Heart Disease. Think of it, No More Heart Disease? What a bold statement, yet the scientific proof is overwhelming. Don't take our word for it. Buy this book. Go to your local bookstore and buy this book. Or order online at www.nomorecardiovasculardisease.com. So why haven't you heard about one of the greatest Nobel discoveries in history until now? Hugh Downs and Bottom Line Books have the answer. Some of you may have seen this advertisement with Dr. Ignaro or have watched the TV broadcast. Bypass in a pill, wins Nobel Prize, then gets buried. Nobel Prize winner Dr. Louis Ignaro made a special appearance on the Hugh Downs broadcast to reveal the covered up truth about this astonishing breakthrough. He's discovered a miracle molecule that could make bypass surgery, angioplasty, and blood pressure drugs obsolete. So why haven't you heard about this? The reason is, this amazing discovery has been killed by big money medicine, meaning big pharma. So how profitable is the drug industry? Marcia Angel, MD, is a senior lecturer at Harvard Medical School. She was the first woman to serve as editor-in-chief of the New England Journal of Medicine. She has written a revealing book titled, The Truth About the Drug Companies how they deceive us, and what to do about it. In her book, she writes, the most startling fact about 2002 is that the combined profits for the 10 drug companies and the Fortune 500 were more than the profits for all the other 490 companies combined. It's all about the money. Cardiovascular disease is big business for the pharmaceutical industry. In 2007, statin drugs alone generated $34 billion in revenue to the drug companies. And according to the Journal of the American Medical Association, adverse drug reactions in the United States caused 1.5 million hospitalizations and 100,000 deaths, making it the fourth leading cause of death in the country. Twice as many people will die each year from adverse drug reactions than are killed from automobile crashes. To put it into perspective, it would be like a Boeing 767 fully loaded with passengers crashing every day of the year with no survivors. Do you think that would make the evening news? At the center of our cardiovascular system is the heart. It beats approximately 100,000 times per day. Without time off or a vacation, your heart will beat about 35 million times in a year. Even at rest, the muscles of the heart work hard, twice as hard as the leg muscles of a person sprinting. During an average lifetime, the human heart will beat more than 2.5 billion times. Your heart pumps nearly 1,800 gallons of blood throughout your body every 24 hours. That equals 657,000 gallons per year. During an average lifetime, the heart pumps about 1 million barrels of blood, enough to fill more than three super tankers. Cardiovascular disease affects not only the heart, but also the miles of blood vessels throughout the body. If you were to lay all of the blood vessels in your body end to end, they would extend for 100,000 miles. Think of it, your vascular network is equal to four times the circumference of the earth. Yet if you're like most people, you have probably not given much thought to the vast network of blood vessels that run throughout your body. Surprisingly, most doctors and cardiologists know very little about blood vessels and vascular disease. 
Out of the 130 accredited MD granting U.S. medical schools, there are only about a dozen where vascular medicine is taught. Yet breakthrough discoveries, including the Nobel Prize in medicine, have unequivocally revealed that blood vessels are much more important than anyone ever realized. Wherever blood flows in your body, it flows through blood vessels. Atherosclerosis is the buildup of plaque on the insides of your arteries. Without proper circulation, our cells starve and don't get the necessary energy and information they need to perform correctly. When this happens, every disease known to man may be generated. Medical professionals used to think that plaque would accumulate in the arteries until it completely closed them. That's not correct. We now know that when plaque becomes large and brittle, it can crack and rupture. The crack, like any other cut, in the body clots to stop the bleeding. However, when a clot occurs in the arteries, the result can be catastrophic. We now know that the body is capable of healing itself. Damaged and blocked vessels can open up and function normally again without drugs or surgery. However, as mentioned, most doctors know very little about blood vessels and vascular disease. Instead, they are trained in cardiovascular medicine heavily influenced by Big Pharma. Cardiologists spend much of their time concentrating on the heart as a pump. They learn the skills to perform bypass surgery. About a half a million bypass surgeries are performed in the United States each year, making it one of the most commonly performed major operations. Cardiologists also learn the skills of catheter-based interventions, performing angioplasties and putting in stents. The procedure, introduced in 1977, has grown into an $8 billion a year industry in the USA alone. In 2001, almost 2 million angioplasties were performed worldwide, making angioplasty the most common medical intervention in the world. As mentioned, in 1998, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded for the discovery of a molecule produced in the lining of the blood vessels that keeps them free of plaque. This miracle molecule has been the topic of more than 20,000 medical studies since 1980. The molecule is nitric oxide. The lining of the blood vessels that produces nitric oxide is called the endothelium. It is the innermost layer of tissue that lines the blood vessel. The endothelium is only one cell layer thick. It is so razor thin that it cannot be seen by the human eye. Yet, it has the surface area of eight tennis courts. When you consider that the endothelium lines all 100,000 miles of our blood vessels, amazing if all the endothelial cells in the body were lumped together, they would weigh as much as the liver. The production of nitric oxide is tightly controlled by the tissue that the vessel serves. When the smooth muscle cells that surround the blood vessels are constricted, nerve stimulation signals the endothelium to create and release small amounts of nitric oxide directly where it is needed. As a signaling molecule and as a gas nitric oxide, will diffuse freely through cell membranes. Nitric oxide signals the smooth muscle cells to relax and to open up. By causing blood vessels to open up, nitric oxide increases blood flow through them. Nitric oxide is the strongest natural relaxant of blood vessels. The nitric oxide produced in the endothelium is your body's best self-defense against heart attack and stroke. It has been said that you are only as old as your endothelium. A healthy endothelium is slick like Teflon. By contrast, an unhealthy endothelium is sticky like Velcro, causing plaque to attach. When plaque does not stick, clots don't form, blood vessels don't harden, and you won't die from a heart attack or stroke. The amino acid, L-arginine, is the source the endothelium uses to create nitric oxide. L-arginine is a nitric oxide producer and high potency antioxidant that has power to reverse the buildup of cholesterol in the arteries. 
The scientific evidence of the benefits of L-arginine and nitric oxide are extensive. The research at Stanford, Harvard, University of South Carolina, National Cancer Institute, National Institute of Health, as well as most cardiovascular centers throughout the world, all point to L-arginine and nitric oxide as perhaps the most important discovery ever in preventing heart disease. In addition to the overwhelming scientific proof, the clinical evidence is equally impressive. Meet Dr. Joe Prendergast. Dr. Joe, as he likes to be called, is board certified in internal medicine, as well as endocrinology and metabolism. On June 4, 2008, the American Diabetes Association named Dr. Joseph Prendergast Father of the Year for 2008. At the awards dinner honoring him, Dr. Joe's wife tells the following story. Two years ago, a letter was sent out by the hospital stating that Dr. Prendergast was no longer on the staff because he was dead. This letter proved to be an embarrassment to the hospital as Dr. Joe was alive and well. The hospital wrongfully assumed that Dr. Joe had died because he had not admitted a single patient to the hospital in 16 years. In 1991, Dr. Joe introduced L-Arginine into his medical practice. As an endocrinologist, 80% of his patients have diabetes. According to the American Diabetes Association, two out of three people with diabetes will die from heart disease and or stroke. Prior to 1991 and the introduction of L-Arginine to his practice, Dr. Joe wrote that 30% of his diabetic patients ended up seeing a cardiologist for bypass procedures. Now, 18 years and 5,000 patients later, Dr. Joe has not lost one patient to a heart attack or stroke, nor has he admitted anyone to a hospital. In addition, prior to 1991, Dr. Joe's practice kept three cardiologists in business with his referrals. After Dr. Joe introduced L-Arginine to his patients, the referrals all ended. All three cardiologists went out of business and had to move to new areas to practice cardiology. In his book, Dr. Joe writes, One of my friends and colleagues is a well-respected cardiologist. I used to refer a lot of patients to him. Recently, he said to me, Did I do something to offend you? I've noticed that you no longer send patients to me. I said, It's not you. I am not sending my patients to anyone. They don't need cardiologists because we are reversing their heart disease. Finally, not too many of us enjoy growing old. L-Arginine is the basic element that represents the best single product to take for anti-aging treatment. L-Arginine is the source to nitric oxide and nitric oxide is 1,000 times more powerful than any other natural antioxidant in the body. Antioxidants neutralize free radicals. So what do free radicals do? You just witnessed it. I'd like you to consider something more important than anything I have said today. Set your spiritual house in order. What good is it going to do to have all the preparedness foods imaginable? What, what good will it do to have all the water storage that you could want? What good will it do to live in the country so you can grow your own vegetables in time of crisis? And even though you may have a lot of gold and silver stored down here, what good is it going to do you whenever you come to the end and you face eternity? Everyone is going to face it at one point or another. Please set your spiritual house in order. Before you obtain any of these things, before you make any other decisions. The Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, I'm quite sure you heard it. You undoubtedly years ago might have heard a Sunday school teacher quote it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. I beg of you, be sure that Jesus Christ is your personal Savior. Know that you are born again, that heaven is your home. Then all the things of this world 
He will give you guidance. He'll show you how to spare your household. He will help you know what to do in time of crisis. I urge you, before you go any further, set that spiritual house in order. Read the book of Romans of all places. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans. I, I would suggest you start there and know that Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, that your house is on a solid rock and not on sinking sand, and it will stand when all the trials of this world come. You can be healed. I hope you caught it. You can be healed both physically. You can also be healed spiritually. You see, there is a disease spiritually. It's called sin. Every person in the human race has it. And there's only one cure for it. And I'll use the word cure here. Because Jesus Christ is the cure for sin. He died on the cross. And there he paid the price for your sin. And by trusting him as your personal savior, you can know that you are born again. And that he is your savior. And will take you over into eternity to be with him for all time. And for all eternity. Please. Consider healing. Physically, I've tried to help. As the elite have told me, spiritually, from sin, I'd love to see you there at heaven's gates and shake your hand and get to know you personally instead of just on this video. God bless.